Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. I've got my Yakima High Speed Premium Rooftop Fork Bike Mount, and I'm ready to install it. Let's check it out. Let's unbox the rack. Alright, so in the box we've got the rack, two wheel straps, one for a larger wheel, one for a smaller wheel, uh, probably a fat bike or mountain bike and then road bike. And already mounted to the front, if I back off this knob here, is the regular quick release skewer. Now I ended up buying the lockable quick release skewer just for extra security. Available accessories is the four pack SKS locks which I did buy. For extra security of the rack and for mounting my bike on top of the car and I did buy the lockable quick release skewer for my bike that does not have through racks so I can keep that secured to the top of my car I have the four SKS lock cores one's gonna go on the quick release lockable skewer that I have one's gonna go here in the front of the rack near the tightening knob one in the rear here to lock the rack to the top of my car and then in the back of the rack here there is a cable which I can in install an SKS lockable skewer right here as well. Alright so here is the uh, universal quick release locking skewer. I'm just going to open it up and install the first SKS lock core to the skewer. So with this lockable skewer, what happens here is I'm going to put a lock core right in here and it will control this little lever in the back. So when I close it, I'll be able to turn the lock and you won't be able to loosen the skewer. Alright, here's the four pack of the Yakima SKS locks. Comes with four lock cores. And inside there are two keys. And then a third key, which is used to install the lock core. It's this blank key to install and remove the lock core into the locking attachment points. The first step is to use a key here to dislodge this black plastic cover where the lock core is going to go in. Like that. Now I'm going to use the blank key here to insert the lock core into the quick release skewer. All right, I've got the blank key here going into the lock, first lock core. It's all the way in. There's a little bit of a point here on the end of the lock core. I'm going to line up with a little bit of a hole here in the bottom of the skewer. Put that all the way in, hold it with my thumb, and pull the key out. Now the lock core is in, and we'll be able to test it with a key. Pretty simple. Alright, now I'm going to use the key that came with the lock, put it in, see right now it's unlocked. Put the key into the lock, should be able to turn it, pull the key out, and now it's locked. You can see what happens here is... The lock turns this little piece here that keeps the skewer from being opened. See this? Open, closed, locked.
All right, I've removed the stock skewer, the non-lockable skewer from Yakima that came with the rack. Pulled it out of this sleeve here. I'm gonna put on, and I'm gonna go insert the lockable skewer. Same way, just back it off the knob. Put it into the sleeve here. Put this back on. We should be able to lock the, you know, this is this knob here is what holds this sleeve in real tight. You turn the knob until it clicks. And we should be able to drop the bike right in here and lock it on, on the rack. All right, now I'm going to put the other, another lock, lock core into the top of the rack here. So same thing, just pop this out. Drop it in. Really quick, these these locks are nice. It's very easy to uh, put it in and lock it up. What this will do is I think it will keep, you see how you can't, now you can't turn the knob very freely with it being locked. Loosen it up and it turns freely. Lock it and then it just locks down to the degree that you can turn this knob. All right, quickly gonna install the last two lock cores on the rack here. One goes onto the back attachment point for the rack. So using the blink key again, I'm gonna pop out this plastic that came with it, plastic cover. Use the blank key, drop it in. This one does have the circle, so align the pin here with the circle, drop the lock in, hold it with my finger, pull the key out. And now this is lockable. Back of the rack, there's this nice cable, and there's a place to lock the skewer here. So, I'll pick that up here in a minute. Here's the last SKS lock core. Same thing, put the blank key in. And drop the lock core in. Pull it with my thumb. Pull that out. And now we're able to lock this cable here. It locks. It locks to this point here, so you pull this out of the back of the rack, wrap it around your wheel, and then we'll be able to just drop this over and lock it on. All right, now that we've got the lock cores installed on the rack, we're gonna go ahead and mount the rack to the top of my Model 3. I do have the Model 3 roof rack installed already. Um, Love the Model 3 roof rack for aerodynamic does not impact a lot of the efficiency of the electric motors or efficiency on the highway. And uh, I ended up choosing the Yakima high speed rack because uh, it's a premium rack. Um, I did notice that the Model S had this style rack installed on it on the uh, Tesla webpage too. Um, and I just loved all the locking features, you know. Don't want my bike stolen to be the last thing. Don't want the rack stolen. The locks were a little expensive, uh, you know, $15 a piece or $60 for the set of four. But hey, that's probably worth the uh, investment in order to maintain, make sure that my bikes and rack are not stolen from the top of my car.
So first part of mounting the rack is uh, actually according to the Yakima instructions to mount the rear portion of the rack. This will take a little bit longer because we'll be adjusting the strap length, but as soon as all the adjustments are made, it should be super quick to put this rack on and off my car, which is another feature why I chose to chose it. I want to be able to take it on and, and put it on and take it off very quickly. All right, so first I've got the rear mounting point, attachment point uh, adjusted. You can slide this forward and backward aligned with my rear crossbar. This is the wheel tray that also slides around. You can adjust where the rear wheel sit on top of the rack. All right, so here's the rear wheel tray and here's the rear attachment point. I have it unlocked just to uh, mount it. We're going to open this, uh, slide this forward here. Um, if this was locked, you wouldn't be able to slide this forward. So that's how the rear mount locks to the car. So slide that forward, this comes up. We're going to lift the back of the tray, the back of the rack up, slide this strap here under the Model 3, set the rack back down. Nice, a nice fit on top. Another reason why I got this rack is uh, I think the Yakima fits really well with the Model 3 roof rack. It's almost like they were designed to work together. I had this under the rack. Let's see, I'm gonna lift it back up through the two crossbars here and see if I can get it into this into the attachment point. I was able to do that. Let's see if uh, how tight this is. In order to lengthen or or shorten the length of the strap, you're gonna roll this little thumb screw here. So right now I've got it. Actually, perfect. Got that down. The rack is not moving at all. Slide that back and then we can, it's basically locked to the car. So that's perfect. Let's move it to the front. All right, so I'm out in the front strap should be the same way as the rear strap, except there's two. There's one here on the left side and one on the right side. So we'll go ahead and open them up. Pretty simple, you just pull this cover back they come out, we're going to drop them below and then tighten them on. Hopefully without damaging the glass of the car. Again, it just sits perfectly on this rack, the Yakima. Um, like I said before, I think they're made to work together with each other. So I'm just going to pull this strap right up through the front. We've wrapped it all the way around the bottom of the front crossbar. Working it up through this hole here. And see how I drop this in. And looks like we're going to have to loosen it some. And there we go. And you can see that the Yakima High Speed is uh, very sleek looking on top of my car when paired up with the Tesla roof rack. We'll go ahead and put the bike on here in a few minutes, but just wanted to do a quick walk around with just the rack. I won't drive around with the rack on with no bike, um, but it looks pretty good even if you had to. I'll be removing the rack every time. I'm not transporting the bike around. And these three attachment points, the two straps in the front and the one in the rear, I mean this rack is solid, it's not moving at all. According to Yakima, the uh, weight of the high speed is 11 pounds or 5 kilograms, uh, so I don't know if that's the lightest one out there, probably not the lightest, but certainly it looks pretty aerodynamic and sleek. 
and it could hold a 40 pound or 18 kilogram maximum uh, bike on top. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mount the shorter wheel strap. Uh, gonna be carrying a, a normal uh, <clears throat> cycle cross slash road bike that I use. Um, this says it to choose for shorter narrow tires or shorter rims. I don't have tall carbon wheels and I don't have a fat bike, so I'm gonna go with the shorter strap. Gonna be hauling, uh, like I said, my cyclocross bike, um, road bike, and mountain bike. There it is. All right, now it's time to mount my bike. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the new Yakima High Speed rack. All I really have to do is remove the front wheel and mount the bike. And here's what the bike looks like with it mounted. As an added measure, measure of <clears throat> as an added measure of security, we can use the tail whip that's included with the Yakima High Speed Rat. We're gonna pull it all the way out. Grab this metal lock. Pass the whip underneath the rear crossbar, up through the frame and around the rear wheel. Here's the information on the hog wheel holder from Seasucker again. A revolutionary way to hold your front wheel when using a fork mount bike release. For use with front and rear quick, re quick release axle only. So there we go. No through axle. Won't work with a through axle bike. And to keep the wheel from spinning when you're on the highway, this piece of velcro strap comes with the hog. Alright, here's a look at my bike mounted to the Yakima high speed bike mount, which is mounted to my Tesla roof rack. Alright, very important with any roof mounted bike rack is watching for low clearance. So let me give you a measurement of how tall my bike is with it mounted to the Yakima high speed rack and on the Tesla roof rack. Down to the ground we're at 8 feet 3 inches. 1, 2, 3, about 99 inches. We can save about 9 inches by removing the seat, at least according to my height. So that would bring us down to 90 inches, 90 inches 7 feet 6 inches. Most parking garages, at least in the DC area, only have a clearance of 6 to 7 feet. So going to have, a, have to find an option of outdoor parking when I'm hauling my bike around, at least when I head to work. Let's see how fast it takes, how long it takes me to take the bike off the car and the roof off, right off, off the car. Ready? Done. Before I got the Yakima high speed rack and the roof rack installed, this is how I would transport my bike, which was kind of annoying. Take both wheels off, shove the bike in. Got tired of doing that. Now I'm super happy with the Yakima High Speed Fork Mount Premium Bike Rack and the Tesla Roof Rack.